As Americans across the country are on the hunt toward herd immunity to end the pandemic, researchers at the University of Virginia are revealing COVID-19 antibody testing done around the state. News 3 reporter Zach Dahlheimer talked with the study's principal investigator who says this testing suggests a large number of Virginians are vulnerable to COVID-19. Antibodies are a way to see additionally about how much spread has occurred that we don't know about. Dr. Eric Haupt at UVA Health is keeping close tabs on COVID-19 antibodies. The purpose of the study was an early assessment of how much COVID had spread after that first wave uh, back in spring 2020. Last summer, researchers partnered with health systems around the state, including Sentara, for testing measuring antibodies in blood from about 5,000 people. House says of that number, a little more than 2% were positive for antibodies as of last August. If we take the findings from August and draw a line to where we are now in February, we would predict that somewhere between 15 and 20 percent of Virginia has been exposed to COVID-19. While those figures are an estimate, Haupt tells us those numbers are low. The vast majority of us do not have antibodies, have not been exposed, and therefore we are completely susceptible. Haupt says they found exposure rates higher in those identifying as Hispanic with about 10 percent having antibodies and at those without health insurance at about 6 percent. These findings have been seen before where certain groups are disproportionately uh, greatly affected by COVID. About two thirds of folks that were positive were asymptomatic, which is why Haupt says it's important to follow health guidelines like wearing your mask. You never know who around anyone could be asymptomatically positive. Haupt says these estimates underscore why it's important to get your vaccine when possible. That's going to be our clearest path to getting up to herd immunity. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.